Hello again, welcome back. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be writing a fretboard calculator. And what that is, is it's just going to be a calculator that calculates the positions of frets on a musical instrument like a guitar or a bass. Uh, if you don't know what frets are, just go ahead and Google them. So anyways, just like last time, I'm going to set up, I set up the uh, basic structure of the program, which, you know, I put a comment in saying what the program is. I gave the program a name and I ended the program. So I'm going to put the implicit none statement in like last time. And that's just, again, a safety check. It's not really necessary, but it really should be there on in all your programs. Okay, so now I'm going to put in variables that I'm going to need to run this program. Uh, the first one I'm going to put in is uh, the number of frets I want to calculate. And I'm going to calculate 24 of them. Uh, that's a pretty typical number on an electric guitar. And I made it an integer instead of a real because, you know, half a fret doesn't make sense. So this is only going to be whole numbers. Uh, so in this situation, you know, it makes sense to make it an integer instead of a real. All right, the next thing I'm going to need is the length of the string, which is the scale length. I'm going to set that equal to 25 and a half inches. And that's pretty typical for an electric guitar. Alright, now I need to define two more variables, and they're a little less obvious. I'm just going to call it fconst. I'm going to refer to it as the fretboard constant. It's not really a... I'll, I'll explain what it is. Okay, uh, I've got the fretboard constant by raising 2 to the 1 12th power. And in case it seems bizarre why I might do that, uh, the two has to do with the fact that uh, if you double the frequency of a note, you are up at the next octave. Now that's what the two has to do with. And the one twelfth has to do with the fact that there's 12 notes in an octave. So this is going to give us a number that we multiply by itself 12 times to get two. And it's just a number that we need to make this calculation. And the last variable I need is fret and you'll see why that's necessary in a minute. Oh, one more note on the on the fretboard constant up here. Um, if I would have put in, if I wouldn't have put this these decimal places in, this point, these point zeros, uh, Fortran would have treated these numbers as integers, and when it divides two integers, what happens is the result has to be an integer, so that's going to be a problem, obviously, because uh, this answer is not going to be an integer. So we don't want to just feed integers into it. Okay. So now to do the actual calculations, I'm going to use a do loop. It's the same thing as a for loop in other languages. And I'm just going to go ahead and write it first, and then I'll explain what it what it's doing. Okay. Well, I'll put a space here. Uh, this, these spaces and indentations aren't really necessary for the program to run, but they just make it easier to read. So, okay. So what's happening is when Fortran gets to this do loop here, it's going to set this variable fret, which is an integer, to all the values between 1 and total frets, which I set equal to 24. And the way it's going to do that is first it's going to set fret equal to 1, and then it's going to do everything inside the loop. So it's going to print out the value for fret, which is going to be 1 the first time around. And then it's going to make this calculation and print it out, plugging 1 in here for fret. And this is the scale length divided by this fretboard constant raised to uh, this power up here, this fret. OK. So again, it's going to print out the value for fret, which is 1, and the value after this calculation using 1 for fret. Then it's going to go back to the top of the loop and it's going to increment from 1 to 2. So the next time through the loop, fret's going to be set equal to 2. So now it's going to print out 2 for fret and it's going to redo this calculation, redo this expression and, and print it out, plugging 2 in for fret. 
Then it's going to go ahead and it's going to come back to the top. It's going to plug 3 in for fret, and 4 in for fret, and then 5 in for fret. And it's going to do every number until it gets to where I told it to stop, which was total frets. That's 24. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and compile it and just make sure it works OK. I'm going to compile it just like I did the last, the last program. Okay, so it made this file fret calc. I'm going to go ahead and run that. Okay. So a good way to check to see if this is right is the 12th fret should be halfway. Should be the halfway point be, um, on the string. And we said the scale length of the string was 25 and a half inches, so the halfway point is 12.75 inches. So this looks right. Uh, so all these numbers are the distance from distances from the bridge. So it looks like the program works right, works correctly. Uh, in the next, uh, the next video, what I'm going to do is show how to uh, output this to an actual text file, so you could you know send it to somebody else. And I'm also going to show how to round these decimal places because, I mean, this is looks like I don't know ten millionth of an inch or something which is unnecessary if you're well I mean you can't really make that measurement with a ruler anyways so we might round this to like a hundredth of an inch or something so uh, the next video I'm gonna start with this file and just add those add those couple things but anyways thanks for watching I uh, hope you learned something and take care